Yo, welcome back to Urban Street 420. I'm your host, 40. Today we're gonna answer the question, can you vape or smoke hibiscus? I know a couple of you are like, I know the answer. I do too. So the answer is yes. Why am I wearing glasses? I think because I'm so frustrated. This is take number, I'm not sure. <laughs> Anyways, big shout out to AirVape for sending me their Legacy Pro, which we're gonna use in this video right here. If you'd like to pick one up, check a link in the description. So, first things first, if we're going to vape hibiscus, we'll start with vaping and then we'll talk about smoking. If you're gonna vape hibiscus, you're gonna probably wanna use a two-stage metal grinder. I'm using this one from Nordamp. Let's go to the other camera, and I'm gonna show you right here on this side, this is what the flower looks like coming out of this bag. Now mind you, this 200 grab bag will last forever. You wanna use a metal grinder because, uh, because the reality is these pedals are so hard, you know what I mean? They're like hard as a rock, they can stab you. You know what I mean? So two-stage metal grinder is ideal. You don't need the third stage because you're not trying to get any keef from your hibiscus, et cetera. So two-stage metal grinder, exactly what you wanna use. If you wanna pick one up because you don't have one, I will have a link to this grinder in the description. So, after turning this a few times, you might find, and we'll empty it here in the middle so you can see it best, right? You might find that there's still some bigger pieces, or maybe not, right? And if there are, all you have to do is bring your fingers down here and try to break up any other pieces, et cetera. Sub that you wanna make sure it's fine, but not too fine of a powder, right? Let's go ahead and open up the Air Vape Legacy Pro. Let's go ahead and take some of this hibiscus and let's put it in the chamber right here. Now you might be asking yourself, why do you want to vape hibiscus? Well, number one, it has a calming and relaxing effect, right? It's good to get rid of anxiety or stress, etc. Now, mind you, I'm not a doctor, so please take all of this with a grain of salt. I don't know if there's any implications for smoking this on a normal basis or vaporizing it on a normal basis. Is it okay to do one time? As far as what I've read, it is. But again, I'm not a doctor or a scientist, so please try this at your own risk, right? After we fill this up, I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Now, when you vaporize hibiscus, you should vaporize at 170 degrees Celsius or 347 degrees Fahrenheit, right? Or was it, was it 175 Celsius and 347 Fahrenheit? I know the 347 Fahrenheit's right. Now, could it be 350 degrees Fahrenheit? Could it be a few degrees over or under? It absolutely can. In order to turn on the AirVape Legacy Pro, we're gonna press the power button, which is right here on the top three times. It is already set to 347, I believe, so we don't have to change anything on the temperature. We're gonna let this warm up. Couple things that you should know. When vaporizing hibiscus, you are not gonna see any visible vapor when you exhale, right? Also, you need to be careful so you do not combust. You don't want the flower to ignite, etc. because we're just trying to vaporize. Now, it does not vaporize any caffeine or anything like that. When you vaporize hibiscus, you are vaporizing antioxidants, antioxidants, <laughs> antioxidants, and vitamin C, right? So it could be some health benefits. Historically, people used to use hibiscus as an aphrodisiac. So maybe after you smoke or vape this, you'll feel horny. Or maybe you were already horny. I don't know. <laughs> On your lips, it tastes like you drank a hibiscus tea. It's very prevalent, it's very pronounced, and it is very distinct, you know what I mean? You don't see any visible vapor, and it definitely has you relaxed. I think the level of frustrated I am right now is through the roof, because I don't know how many takes I've done of this video, and it's problem after problem, like an audio problem one time, that this time I forgot to set the other camera. Anyway, so, Normally, I think I might even stop, like walk around for an hour or something because I'm so frustrated. But I'm a little relaxed, and I think it's because of the hibiscus, huh? Now, I don't know if this is something I would do every day. Even though I feel relaxed, I still would probably turn to CBD first. But it does have a very interesting effect, and if you have hibiscus laying around at the house, then I say give it a try. If you don't have hibiscus laying around the house, the reality is I bought this for like 10 bucks off Amazon and it will last forever, I think, unless you use it in teas, which I currently am not. But I guess I, that's how I'm gonna have to go through the rest of this, right? So it's nice. It's got a relaxing effect. If you have it, I recommend trying it in a vape. We're gonna turn the vape off by pressing the button three times. I did roll a joint here of 50% hibiscus and 50% another flower, a green flower, right? <laughs> Whatever flower you want to use. Uh, but one thing I'm gonna point out before I light it, because you'll notice the joint's already been lit. Uh, 
is that the hibiscus flower is not going to stick to other sticky green plants. And so therefore, sometimes when it's burning, a big piece of cherry will fall off because it wasn't stuck or whatever. So pay attention because one of the takes, <laughs> I was smoking this and a piece, the cherry fell on the carpet and burned the carpet. I was like, <gasps> I won't repeat the words I said, but I was a bit frustrated. <laughs> Let's go ahead and light this. I will say there's a huge difference between vaping and smoking it. Now, mind you, this is mixed, and we did it pure in the vape. So maybe if we smoked pure hibiscus flour, it would taste, but I still think it would taste different, and it tastes different because it's being combusted. So the flavor of the hibiscus is much, not as, it's not as nice as it is when it's in a vape. But I mean, that's true for weed too, right? So it's interesting. I don't know how relaxed this makes me because I smoke all the time anyway, you know what I mean? So is this giving me additional relaxation? Maybe. Uh, it tastes nice in a vape, in a joint, I don't think I would add it to herb normally because the flavor enhancement isn't the same. Like in a, in a vape, it's nice, but in a joint, it's not that it's horrible, but it's not nice. So yeah, I think I would leave it out. Although I am going to finish this, because why would we want to waste, right? <laughs> I mean, really simply, I was thinking, I'm going to start doing a bunch of these videos, vaping different types of herbs, right? I think we'll do mint, we'll do ginger, you name it. Guys, gals, everybody, if you have a question, leave it in the comments. I'm going to stop this video because I don't even know if it's good, to be honest. Usually I know by the end of the video, but I think this high business has got me on loop or something. I, I don't know! <laughs> Guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. You know the deal, baby. <gasps> Till next time, I'm out.